This is a Bridgeport DX32. I'm going to show you how to save a file from the memory to the USB. Press 4 to uh, go to the load remote. Uh, key number 1 to send X on X off. Now it'll say load here, uh, but you can see right here saying load to the remote, which is our unit. Uh, so we're going at 192 baud rate. Um, it does have problems at 192. You may want to go just to 4800. But we'll go ahead and send a small file. Uh, and you select the file here. You start our unit here. Let it pick a file. Press start. And press enter here to start the cycle. And it'll say transfer complete when done. To go the other way to send that file back, you'll press the four. Oops. Go back here. Sorry about that. Press the four key to go to the load remote menu. You'll then receive a file, which is number two. Then we're going to load from remote. And it'll still say load here, so it's coming from our unit back. So we'll click uh, load, F3. And at this point, we can create our own file by pressing the plus key. And then we give it a file, and it's called test7.txt. Press enter, and now it's, uh, you'll see it's, it's waiting here. That means it's receiving to a file. We'll go ahead and come on our unit here. Go to USB to CNC. Go down to uh, uh, seven was the file. Press start on our unit. And then it'll pop up. That's the same file we loaded. And that's how you load and save. Now. If you're going to run a large file, the only way to DNC on the DX32 is to load it into the hard drive first. Once it's on the hard drive, you'll be able to then run that large file. Uh, that's about it. Bridgeport DX32.